Oh, primarily uh, impacting the west side of town right now. We're going to dive in just a little bit tighter here just to show you around West Side Drive. We've got some yellow pockets there indicating moderate showers around Vinton, New Way, a few light sprinkles a little further uh, east, still around the west side, west side Boulevard. Again, just a few light sprinkles at this hour. So as you can see, east side of town, we're not seeing any heavy rain, but over the past 24 hours, about three quarters of an inch, a little further east, this is around morning glory as we travel up to the west side of town, central El Paso. Actually, this is the east side of town. We had light showers, a few sprinkles around Vista del Sol, Sierra Vista Mall, light rainfall, and then on the west side of town, the bulk of the moisture impacting even parts of central, about three quarters of an inch around Buena Vista and Mission Hills. We're gonna travel over to Santa Teresa where around Airport Road, about half an inch of rainfall. So not everybody saw rain yesterday, but some locations definitely did. We'll still carry on with that chance this afternoon. Two o'clock, we've got some scattered storms popping up primarily on the east side of town. So those of you that did not see rain yesterday, you'll get a chance today. Most of the heaviest rain falling around the four o'clock hour, moving in from the south. So I'd say around five o'clock, El Paso, be prepared for heavy downpours. Most of you will be leaving work, headed home around that time. So we could see heavy rain around the four o'clock, five o'clock, possibly even the six o'clock hour. At eight o'clock, we'll have the second wave roll through. This time it's gonna impact the west side. I'd say moderate showers. The problem is the locations that already had rainfall yesterday will be prone to flash flooding. 10 o'clock, east side getting impacted again, primarily Hudspeth, Culberson County. Then during the overnight hours, we've got some heavier pockets here, indicative of the yellow and red that you just saw on your screen there. Now our rainfall, uh, estimate is really just going to give us an idea of how much rain and which locations will accumulate most of the heaviest rainfall out in Silver City the area lakes about three quarters of an inch a little further east around Hudspeth and Culberson County some locations picking up a little under half an inch of rainfall so this is something that we will be monitoring today and tomorrow I'll have another update for you during the uh, six o'clock hour of our newscast so our rain chances for today we're at 50 percent 60 percent on Thursday and then our rain chances will be to drop as we get closer to the weekend.